Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wholesome Feed. So today I thought I would do fashion, which I know is not something I normally talk about, but I feel like when you are an exhausted, tired breastfeeding mama, you kind of want a little bit of advice, like, oh, what is comfortable, what works, what is breastfeeding friendly? So I thought I would do one of my favorite breastfeeding tops, which is this great, um, warm, nice, fleecy lined sweatshirt. And you can buy these on um, AliExpress. You can get similar ones on Amazon. And there's a lot of different looks and it has this nice spot right here where you can breastfeed from. It's really easy, I love this. I have had this for ages. Um, I got it off of AliExpress and it was a good deal. It was, it was under 12 bucks with shipping. It was a really nice shirt and it's lasted. It's pilled up a little bit over time but it's a really good shirt. Um, and I thought I would show you with a couple different looks, depending on you're going out or you're going to a play date or you're just staying home. And maybe you just want to be a little bit warm in the cold months, but you still need easy access breastfeeding. And with sweatshirts, a lot of the time when you're warm, you know, you either are going to have to have a zipper and so you're unzipping things and that's kind of scary around a baby, or you have to lift up your sweatshirt and your stomach's getting cold and maybe you don't want to expose your tummy postpartum, right? Maybe it's kind of a sensitive subject for all of us. Um, and so these tops with little openings, and there's different tops. Um, let me know if you would like me to do a full haul with the different types of sweatshirts that you can do. Uh, make a big difference. The first outfit is just easy, simple leggings. I love these leggings. I got these off of Etsy um, from a woman that makes them in Arizona. They have a unicorn print. I got mommy and me unicorn prints so that my son can have one too. Um, they are beautifully high-waisted. I love that about these leggings. The, you know you buy a lot of leggings and they aren't really high-waisted? It's kind of a lie. These are actually high-waisted. They're so comfy, they're stretchy, and they're just easy to pair with a nice nursing sweatshirt. It is so comfy if you're just going out to the playground, you're going out to get groceries. It's simple and it's so comfy. Oh my goodness. And the second look is going to be with jeans. And these are stretchy, great jeans. I bought them on clearance at Target in the spring. Um, I like that they're a little, you know, distressed looks. So they're a little fun and I don't mind beating them up a little bit, going to the playground or going out for a walk with my monkey. But they're nice, higher-waisted jean and they have a little bit of stretch and give to them, which works for me because I have kind of an hourglass figure. I have, um, you know, indentation at my waist, right? My waist goes in and then my hips go out and my hips are kind of comparable in size to my breast ratio. So it can be a little bit hard to find clothes for that size. I think it's hard to find clothes for any of us, right? Where no one quite designs clothes for women's bodies. But this is a really comfortable outfit. It's got the warm sweatshirt, nursing sweatshirt over it. And then you can put a scarf around your neck if you want. It's just simple, it's comfy. I love it for going out and getting out in nature, going to the playground and when I don't I want to be in leggings, but I want something that's stretchy and comfortable still. These jeans, sweatshirt look, it's a great simple look. It's easy to replicate. My third look is just, I'm at home, I'm going to be in bed or on the sofa, nursing, maybe under a blanket. I just want to be comfy. Maybe I don't want to wear pants because, you know, postpartum, your tummy can feel a little jiggly, your hips can feel a little jiggly. It can be hard to feel good in pants postpartum. That's something a lot of women don't get told, no one talks about it. Um, it can take a long time to feel comfortable again in pants just because your body is reshaping, right? Your uterus is shrinking, your skin is tightening back up, there's still going to be loose skin that might be permanent, um, you know, your elasticity in your body is decreasing, right? Because you have to be very flexible and your joints need to be very flexible during birth. Um, so sometimes you just want some knee-high comfy cotton socks. I got these off Amazon, they came in a three pack, I think it was $8 for the three pack, it was a great deal. Um, and then just a nice long sleeve warm sweatshirt like this breastfeeding one is it's simple it's comfortable it's my at-home look and you know for a lot of us mamas everybody always shows us looks that are really put together and super stylish or they've got a lot of layers and maybe uncomfortable pants and sometimes you just want comfortable honest authentic looks right things we would really wear as mamas and I think these are them right it's lovely and comfortable and makes you happy and still makes you feel pretty because you feel comfortable and that can be a big struggle postpartum. I hope you like this different kind of vlog on fashion. Um, I really find it helpful to get inspired on what to wear and I know that immediately postpartum you know our bodies are all over the place and we just want to feel comfortable and not totally disheveled right we want to get out of our pajamas a tiny bit 
but we still want to feel like we're in the comfort of pajamas. Um, and so a nice nursing top in a couple different styles. It's easy, it doesn't break the budget, and it's fun to wear because you're just like, boom, milk. You don't have to lift up your shirt, you don't have to get your tummy cold, your jiggle bits don't have to come out. It's so full, it's easy. <laughs> So until next time, hey, subscribe if you haven't already. I love getting emails from new subscribers and messages about some of the videos that you see that are helpful. It really it means a lot to me. If you're new to the channel, I am Rose Kelly. I'm a mom of my three-year-old high needs son um, who was a wild baby. Oh my goodness. And I went through all sorts of postpartum things. I had a lot of undiagnosed postpartum anxiety that I've talked about a little bit on these vlogs. Um, a lot of body changes that, you know... I, I love to talk about because I feel like a lot of people just don't talk honestly about it and it's not a bad thing It's just a different body that you have after having a child or children and that postpartum period I think it's really important to be comfortable and to be honest about and to have places like the wholesome feed where you can come And have a safe space to talk about these things. I think that's really valuable and that's a big part of why I vlog on all of these. Uh, you can check links in the description. I have a link to my blog. I have a link to all my romance novels that I write. They're on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, uh, Smashwords, all over. You can get them everywhere. iBooks. So until next time, hey, thank you all so much for being a part of this beautiful, lovely mothering and parenting community here on YouTube.